Ask anyone what their favorite thing about Cuphead was, and the first thing they'll go on about is probably the art style and music. While those things definitely make the game stand out, they're not what kept me playing when I first played at launch, nor are they what made me complete a whole second playthrough recently. Like with most of my videos, I knew that I wanted to talk about Cuphead, I just wasn't sure what the theme of the video should have been. So instead of playing a whole second playthrough, I figured it was just best to jog my memory by playing a few levels and get an idea for a video. Instead, I ended up playing the whole game. Usually when I'm recording footage of a game, I'm less immersed in the experience because I have to simultaneously jot down timestamps for important moments in the footage, I have to keep track of what I did and didn't enjoy, and I have to keep mental notes on what could be interesting to talk about in the final video. And like I said, I was only planning on playing a few levels of Cuphead, maybe just beating the first world, and using that footage to talk about my experience with the game the first time. But it wasn't until I went past the first world that I remembered why I bothered beating the game the first time at all. It was because of that. That is an A rank. Cuphead, after every level, ranks you based on performance. It's not an arbitrary system, there's fixed criteria, like how many times you parried attacks, how many times you used your super moves, how many hits you took, and how much time it took you to finish. But the point is, it ranks you, from A plus to D minus. Or at least I think D minus is the lowest rank, I had to google it and that's what I found. At the start of the game, it's really not that hard to get A ranks. Use your super six times? Easy, these guys barely move and are hard to miss. Parry three times? Eh, you may miss a pink attack once or twice, but who cares, just restart. Don't get hit? Okay, a bit of a challenge, but you can still end the boss with one hit point and get an A rank, so whatever. Finish on time? Easy. At most, it'll take you, what, an hour to beat the first world with all A ranks? That's assuming you're also going for the run and gun levels, which you don't need to do, so yeah, at most one hour. Then you get to the second world and you can't help but think maybe that just Maybe something is different. Here's a real high class bout. You're up. It took me five minutes, retries and all, to beat the last boss of the first world. It took me 15 minutes to beat the first boss of the second world. Then come the third world, it took me about 20 to 30 minutes for each boss. Needless to say, the reason these later bosses take so long is because they're harder. Especially when you're going for all A ranks. And you may be thinking, oh, but if A ranking is so hard, why not just settle for a B instead of spending over 30 minutes on a single boss? Here's why. This game starts off easy. Nothing was difficult about the first few bosses, and if I ever restarted, it was just because I wasn't familiar with their attack patterns and got hit, reducing my chances of getting an A rank. And because the bosses weren't hard, my ego wouldn't accept anything below that A rank. You end the first world thinking you're so good at Cuphead, especially because everyone online is talking about how hard the game is. Then you get to the second world, and I swear, there's no buffer or transitioning or anything, the game just lets all hell loose. Bosses from this point onwards are immediately and exponentially more difficult than any of the ones in the first world. In theory, the bosses should be easy if you just don't die. You can technically say that about any game ever, but it feels like that's the case more with Cuphead. There is almost never a moment in Cuphead that you're not holding the attack button during, since your attacks are long range, meaning from almost any point on the stage you can hit the boss. That means that as long as you're aiming well, which isn't hard to do, the boss's health bars are constantly taking hits. The hard part though isn't getting hits in, it's not dying. And when some bosses throw bombs, hurl projectiles that fill up the screen, and set up screen-wide lasers all at the same time just to get one hit on you, not taking damage isn't as easy as it sounds. Then after that, they'll throw this shit at you during the same boss fight with so many projectile attacks to the point that they just blend in with one another, and there's these walls that move up and down that limit your space even more, and they expect you to go after the pink projectiles to parry them for points. My point is, it's no longer easy to beat these bosses, let alone A-rank them. But I had to A-rank them. Every single one of them. Because... Because I... Okay, just bear with me through this very petty explanation. When I got A-ranks for every boss in the first world, it set a precedent. And at the time, it didn't really seem like a necessarily difficult precedent to maintain since the bosses in the first world were easy. Then, when the second and third world bosses showed up, A-ranking felt like, at times, very difficult, and at others, an unattainable goal. The one thing it always felt like, though, was an obligation. There's this feeling, a feeling that's really hard to describe, but I'll do my best. This feeling of having to get those A ranks for every boss in the second and third worlds, only because you were able to in the first. 
It's completely irrational because the second and third worlds are harder than the first, so logically you would expect to perform worse on those bosses, and you do, but you don't accept that performance. You can spend an entire hour on a boss, restarting over and over again just because you got hit too many times in the early phases or forgot to parry that one attack, but you'll still get hit with a B as if that effort meant nothing. Because it does mean nothing. The level of effort and the level of skill that the game requires are made to be just slightly uneven so that if you get hit just once or go a few seconds over the optimal time, you'll get punished. But it's not even a real, objective punishment, because this whole made-up A rank only requirement is all in the player's head. The game never tells you to go for all A's, it never promises bonus content for players who accomplish it, it never even hints that you should try doing it, it's just an expectation that you set for yourself while playing. This game isn't addicting because it's fun, it's addicting because I can try again and again and again and again but unlike any other game I've played, that in itself isn't enough. Trying really hard just isn't enough. You keep playing hours and hours on end, repeating every boss fight, perfecting your routine after agonizingly memorizing their patterns. You restart halfway through, sometimes only a few seconds in because you took a hit that you know you need to save for later for that one part you just can't perfect. You get B after B after B, as if the game thinks it's telling you that you did a good job, but all you can hear is the game taunting you for being such a pathetic loser. Until finally, FINALLY, you see that glorious A-. And let me tell you, there is nothing I've experienced ever in a video game that is as tense of a moment as the game tallying up your score after countless failed attempts. But that's not where it ends. That was only one boss of many, and you have a long way to go. Until finally, you beat the third world, and you think you're done. But the second and third worlds are nothing, nothing compared to the final boss. Not King Dice, all you need to get past him is timing and knowing how to parry. It's this asshole that took me forever to beat. You start off and it's nothing too bad, you know? Parry this attack, hit him some, dodge the minions that come from the sides, dodge his attacks again, oh, oh, wait, you just... You got hit, okay, it's no big deal, no biggie. Just restart the boss, parry, hit, dodge, attack, oh shit, okay, just, it's fine, it's okay, it's fine, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Just hit, dodge, parry, dodge, hit, do oh, okay, okay, just, mm. It doesn't end, and this is only the first phase. Once you finally get used to his patterns, the whole boss changes and now you're confined to a few small platforms with two giant projectile throwing minions on the sides, three flying minions up above that are hard to hit because of their tiny hitboxes, and the devil himself who throws bombs that have an explosion radius of half the screen, spinning axes, and forces you to switch platforms every few seconds because of attacks falling down from above. This boss is agonizingly painful to try to beat at all, and it's an even bigger pain when you're trying to A rank it because of some dumb rule that you've made up for yourself. I kept restarting after getting to the second phase only to find myself back at the first phase, make another dumb mistake, and restart again. Then you get to the third phase where it's only one platform and his hitboxes... I, I don't even know where they are. Are they his eyes or his nose? Sometimes it works when I hit his nose, so which is it? Oh and by the way, shit is still falling from the sky even though there's nowhere to go. Which means that you have to parry. Every goddamn teardrop and go back to the platform and if you miss you die and restart that's it you're just you're dead and it's over and you have to restart the whole fight and and i can't i can't but then like with any final boss you beat it your whole body just relaxes you fall back into your chair after changing from uncomfortable position to uncomfortable position throughout the last however many hours you've been playing it's apparently 5 a.m. when you check your clock, but who cares? You did it. It's all over, and you don't have to play Cuphead anymore. You're free. I, uh... I'm quitting video games. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I've got more than I'm planning at the moment, and hopefully those are good too. I say too, assuming this one's good. I hope it is. I don't know. Nonetheless, thanks for the support and stick around for more stuff coming soon. I've got a cool announcement that I can't wait to make in the near future and more videos coming your way.